How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access YouTube educator, Math Teacher Ash, and welcome to another reviewer series in preparation for our first quarter examination. And today we will be tackling the topics on the grade 10 mathematics. All right, so in this video, we will have four parts, and these four parts will be divided into 10 questions each. I hope you will finish all the four parts so you will be equipped and excel in your upcoming examination. So if you are still new to the channel, please click the subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. So without further ado, let's do this. Question number one, which of the following represents the pattern of the sequence 7, 12, 17, 22, and so on? Is it A, add 5 to the previous term, B, subtract 5 from the previous term, C, multiply the previous term by 5, or D, divide the previous term by 5? I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. Alright, math learners, this question is very easy. Why? Because we will just check our number pattern given. So we have here 7, 12, 17, 22. So if we check this one, we observe obviously that it is increasing. It is increasing by 5 because 7 becomes 12, it was added by 5. 12 becomes 17, it was added by 5. And 17 becomes 22, it was added by 5. Therefore, the correct answer for this question is letter A. Let's check whether we are correct. Easy, right? Now, let us go to question number 2. What is the next three terms of the finite sequence? 15, negative 45, 75, negative 105, and so on. Is it A, negative 135, 165, negative 105, B, 135, negative 165, 195, C, negative 135, 165, 195, or D, 135, 165, 195. I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. Alright, math learners, in this question, as you can see in the given finite sequence, we observe that the number as it proceeds the sign is interchanging. So therefore, from positive, it become negative. From negative, it become positive. Then it become negative. So therefore, we already know that the next term will be positive, negative, then positive. So if we check our choices, it should have positive, negative, positive. A is already wrong. C is already wrong. So positive, negative, positive. So therefore, the correct answer for this question is letter B. Let's check whether we are correct. Alright, so now let us go to the next question. Which of the following is not true about sequences? Is it A, a sequence is an ordered list of numbers? B, sequences can be finite or infinite? C, a sequence is arranged in a specific order? Or D, all sequences must have a common difference? I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. Alright, my dear math learners, as we can see in the following statements, we will be finding the false statements for this question. Now, among these four choices that we have, only one is wrong, and that is particularly letter D. It says here that all sequences must have a common difference. If you remember, sequences have a lot of types. We have an arithmetic sequence, harmonic sequence, geometric sequence, Fibonacci sequence and some other sequences. So when we are talking about common difference, it is just pertaining to arithmetic sequence. Okay, so let's check whether we are correct. Letter D. All right. So my dear math learners, I hope you got that one. Now let us go to question number four. What number is missing in the pattern? 18, 24, 30, blank, 42. Is it A, 34, B, 35, C, 36, or D, 37? I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. Okay, my dear math learners, as we can see, we have 18, 24, 30. It is increasing, right? So how is it increasing? It is added by 6. So therefore, 30 added by 6, that will be 36, letter C. So let's check whether we are correct. Alright, now let us go to question number 5. Which of the following is an arithmetic sequence? 
Is it A, 2, 4, 8, 16, and so on? B, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so on? C, 2, negative 2, 2, negative 2, and so on? Or letter D, negative 3, 1, 5, 9, and so on? I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. Alright, my dear math learners, finding an arithmetic sequence, we should be considering that each pattern has a common difference. Alright, so let's check for letter A. 2 becomes 4, so it was added by 2. 4 becomes 8, it was added by 4. So there is no common difference in this given sequence. This is wrong. How about B? 3, 5, 8. So from 3, it becomes 5, it was added by 2. 5 becomes 8, it was added by 3. So it's not common again. So letter B is wrong. Now let's go to letter C. So as we can see in letter C, it is multiplied by negative 1. So, since it is multiplication, then it is not an arithmetic sequence. So, automatically, our answer is letter D. Alright, let's check whether we are correct. Alright, my dear math learners, because the common difference for this one is positive 4. Alright, now let us go to question number 6. In an arithmetic sequence, the constant number that is added to each term to get the next term is called, is it a common ratio, b common difference, c common factor, or d arithmetic mean? I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. Alright, my dear math learners, this question is very, very easy because if we are talking about arithmetic sequence, the common factor or the common term that is being used in order to proceed to the next term is what we call the common difference. Alright, letter B. Let's check whether we are correct. Alright, so now let us go to question number 7. A bakery displays cupcakes in rows. 3, 8, 13, 18, and so on. How many cupcakes are there in the 12th row? Which of the following will be used in solving the problem? Is it A, A sub 12 is equal to 3 minus the quantity 12 plus 1 times 5? B, A sub 12 is equal to 3 plus the quantity 12 minus 1 times 5? Or C, A sub 12 is equal to 3 times 5 to the power of 12 minus 1? Or D, A sub 12 is equal to 3 times 5 to the power of 12 plus 1? I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. Alright, my dear math learners. First thing to do in answering this problem is to check our given sequence. Now, as we can see, our sequence is increasing. And how does it increases? So, it is added by 5. Okay, so meaning it is an arithmetic sequence. Therefore, it uses a common difference. Therefore, this letter C and letter D are already wrong choices because this pertains multiplication. Okay, so now A and B are the remaining choices. But this representation for A and B, it uses the formula A sub N is equal to to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times the common difference. So since we are using n minus 1, where n is the position of term that is being asked, so therefore, the correct answer for this one is letter B. Let's check whether we are correct. Alright, my dear math learners, very easy. Now, let us go to question number 8. Question number 8. So, in this question, we have the same given as the previous question, but it is now asking for the 12th term. So, how many cupcakes are there in the 12th term? Is it A, 55, B, 58, C, 60, or D, 63? I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. So, my dear math learners, in answering this problem, we will now be simplifying what equation we have or what formula we had in question number 7. So, what we need to do is to add 3 to the quantity 12 minus 1. And 12 minus 1 is equal to 11. Then that 11 is multiplied by the common difference, which is 5. So, 11 times 5, that would be 55, plus 3, which is the first term, and that will be 58. Letter B is the correct answer. Now, let's check whether we are really correct. <laughs> All right, my dear math learners. So, if you didn't get that one, you can review this question and our explanation. So, now let us go to question number 9. Find the 30th term of the arithmetic sequence 8, 3, negative 2, negative 7, and so on. Is it A, 
negative 137, B, negative 140, C, negative 142, or D, negative 145. I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. Alright, my dear math learners, in solving this one, we need to use the formula. Okay, so if you can remember the formula, we have A sub N is equal to A sub 1 plus the quantity N minus 1 times the common difference. Now, as you can see, the first term here is 8. So, this will be 8. Our A sub N is the 30th term. So, A sub 30. Alright. Now, if we try to get our N minus 1, that would be 30 minus 1 multiplied by the common difference. So, what is the common difference? As we can see, it is now decreasing. So, it is minus 5 or negative 5. So, therefore, that is negative all right, so now let's just simplify our substitution. So this will become 8. This will become 29 times negative 5. So now simplifying, we have 8 plus 29 times negative 5. That would be negative 145. And if we add negative 145 to 8, that will be negative 137. All right, so now let's check whether we are correct. Letter A. All right, my dear math learners, I hope you got that one. So now let us go to question number 10. Which of the following are the three arithmetic means between 4 and 18? Is it A, 8, 14, 20, B, 10, 16, 22, C, 12, 18, 24, or D, 9, 15, 21? I'll give you five seconds to think about your answer. Alright, my dear math learners, in solving this one, there is a technique. Okay, so since in our given, we have three arithmetic means. So, three arithmetic means. When we are talking about arithmetic means, these are um, the numbers between the terms. So, our terms given are 4 and 28. And there are three arithmetic means between them. Alright, so in order for us to know what are these numbers, you just take that difference from 28 and 4 and that is 24 now ask yourself how many places did it hop going to 28 so that is 1 2 3 and 4 so you just divide this by 4 having a result of equal to 6 so therefore your, your 6 here is the common difference so you just add 4 plus 6 then that would be 10 10 plus 6, that would be 16. 16 plus 6, that would be 22. Alright, so therefore the correct answer is letter B. Let's check whether we are correct. Alright, my dear math learners. So, i just like to congratulate you for finishing the first part of our reviewer series. If you find this helpful, please click that subscribe button and notification bell as well as share this to your fellow friends, classmates, and schoolmates. Now, of course, if you might be answering our questions earlier, kindly share what are your partial scores for this reviewer series. Now, without further ado, let's go to the second part.